An early morning fire injured six New Haven firefighters. It also left a dozen people without a place to sleep tonight, many of them children. News 8's Kent Pierce tells us what happened. There were a dozen people in this Arthur Street house when it caught fire around 5.30 this morning. Five were children. Montasia woke up to get her baby a bottle. I heard the smoke detector, so I went in the back hallway, and it was smoke. So I'm like, oh, like it's really a fire. Like, so I woke everybody in my house up. She says it was a small fire in the basement at first. Her grandfather thought he could handle it himself. He had like a bowl of water going in the basement, trying to put it out. But it, it was just getting bigger, so he, he just left out the house. And that's always a good plan, and the first fire crews arrived in just four minutes. So for the firefighters, first priority, getting everybody out, which they did successfully. Second priority, getting the fire knocked down, keeping it from spreading to the houses that are very close by there. That's routine procedure, but in the middle of this heat wave, nothing is that routine. We now have six firefighters that are injured with non-life-threatening injuries. One is going down to the hospital for evaluation. One had debris in his eye. Most were suffering from problems associated with the weather. It's a very hot, humid day, and... Uh, Obviously, we have to rotate the crews uh, a lot. We went to a second alarm so that we have uh, enough crews to rotate and re rehydrate. But in this type of weather, you become emaciated. The firefighters are all expected to be okay. The 12 people who live here are unhurt, but with a partial collapse upstairs, it looks like Montasia has lost just about everything. Well, I live on the third floor, so basically that's what they're saying. Like, only thing my baby has is a paper and a passport. The Red Cross is now helping them out. The cause of the fire is still under investigation. In New Haven, I'm Kent Pierce, News 8.